Okay, so we come back to our touch designer exercise. So in the following number of exercises, we're going to play with the lip motion controllers. And as usual, we tidy up the screen and create the new project folder. So I rename it as lip motion 001. And then save it in my desktop. And the first thing is you need to install the driver for your lip motion controller, either the OS X one or the Windows one. And then connect it through the USB cable to your computer. And the objects we're going to use is actually the top version. So there's also a top version, which just give you the camera view and the top version of the top version I mean will give you the detailed information related to your controller. And what we're going to do in order to simplify the data we obtain from the lip motion controller in the parameter window. So we just want to detect one single hand and also per hand we detect just one single finger to make it a little bit more simple in the first example. And if you zoom in to have a look of your lip motion chart, so if there's nothing detected, so there will be zero for all the, the number. But if once you have your hand on top of your lip motion controller, you understand that like the hand zero is the hand we're going to, the only hands we are going to detect. So we have the palm information, wrist information, elbow information, and also the finger information. So in this exercise, we'll try to extract the finger information and then use it to play around with some form of interactive experience. So if you take a look up this number, so you have the hand zero, select finger zero, colon something. So that will be the information that we're going to use. Okay, so in order to select the information we want, we can just put a select over here and then choose something that we want to have like the hand zero finger zero and then colon something and in this case you only do something in a two-dimensional plan so we just obtain the tx that is the x position and also the, like, the y position as well and in addition, you can also rename those long description of your variable into a much smaller one in our convention like txty. So that will be the translate x and y direction. So that will be something like this. And the second thing we would like to do is we try to have a look of the range that changed according to the movement of your hands. So in this case, I can properly turn on my video camera. And then do a horizontal flip such that you will understand the placement of the lip motion controller and the relative motion of my finger. So this is the, the lip motion controller. I put it somewhere along my keyboard and then try to use my finger to move around. So you understand if my finger moves towards the right hand side. So that we're changing in the TX direction. Negative positive, negative, positive. 
and for the ty so we have up and down movement but unfortunately you don't have the negative because you are not going to have your finger underneath your lip motion controller so in this case you only have positive number like 0. Point something and then 0. Point 0.2 or 0. Point 0.3 something around here so this is more or less the range like the bottom one 0. Point 0.1 upper area like 0. Point 0.3 something so you have an understanding like x towards the left hand side do, 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 do. minus 0. Point 0.15 towards the right hand side 0.1918 uh, something so this is more or less the range we can have so in this case we can further customize our range by just splitting them into like TX for the first one and then another select for the ty so the reason of splitting them because they come with different range so i try to use a mess in order to do the range conversion and the second math for the other one and as I use my finger for demonstration, like in X direction, do, 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 left hand side, like minus 0 0.15, and right hand side, positive 0 0.15. So that will be more or less like the range of the X direction. And then for X movement, we can change this to the range that we target have, like in the graphical set X, the left margin is 0 point, uh, minus 0 0.15 and positive 0 point, 0 point 5, sorry, for, for the right margin. So this is what we want to have. And then the y direction, we can also have a look. The bottom margin is more or less like 0 0.15, 0 0.14 something. Top margin like 0.39 or 0 0.4. So we can customize this one. Right. And then 0 0.4 for the full range and then negative 0.5 for the bottom margin positive 0.5 for the upper margin so that will be like here and next step is we may want to have a graphics so we can just choose a top to do a circle and then change the resolution back to our custom one yes and then make it a little bit smaller for the color you can also select whichever color you want now you have the circle so our objective is move the circle with your finger so the next one will be a transform that come with the translate x and translate y and after the maths, I can also send those numbers to a node chart, just as the placeholder for both of them. Okay, so now we can 
turn on the viewer active for both of them and then drag the x and y to your translate x and then export translate y and then export so this is what we have done and then if you want to you can just connect back to the output window save and then done with a full screen display and then without the border so that will be more or less completed for this exercise so you have this kind of thing when you move your mouse but it's actually not your mouse it's your finger so it's kind of like moving the circle around and if you want to you can also have a little bit more since you already have your video image so why not combine it with a composite or something like over or under to put your dot on top of your video and of course you need to choose other than the default multiply with something like over so that you will have your the rest is over not over be the under yes And then you can have some form of testing that your finger more or less controlling the position of this circular dot. Of course, the matching between the real image of yourself and also the virtual one, you need to have minor fine tuning in the range of your mass and also your and that the finger it detect may not be just the index finger you, you are sewing so that can be other fingers so in this case you may need to do quite a number of those fine tuning in the from range for the both tx and ty in order to match it completely with the circular dot on top of your fingertip so this is the demonstration of the first use of the lip motion controller combined with your finger movement.